everybody, welcome back to the return to the Purple Planet. Uh, as as always, uh, I am Michael Curtis, and with me is Mr. Harley Stroh. And this is our last trip back to this is our last return to the Purple Planet before we uh, we go live in a mere two weeks. So uh, so very exciting. How are you feeling, Harley? I'm feeling great, Mike. Thanks for uh, being with us on this what five episode trek that has brought us this far. It's really exciting and. Uh... Yeah, I'm really looking forward to, to see this come to culmination. It's been a lot, you know, this is actually our sixth and final episode. So we've had, we've done a half dozen of these kind of wrapping, you know, getting getting people excited, the people who had no idea what the heck a Purple Planet was when this all started. And uh, now hopefully they have enough information to make a smart, smart backing choice. <laughs> <laughs> They're running for the hills. When the backer kit for Adventures, what, is it, what do we officially call it this one? It's Adventures to the Purple Planet and Beyond, which because this is a massive thing. And it was, although we have been speaking about the Purple Planet for the last, you know, six shows, there, there's, a, there's a lot more than just a Purple Planet. And we will get into that tonight because this is the Roundup show. This is so if you are currently watching this live or you are watching this, you know, on YouTube after the fact, I suggest get a pen and pencil. Get your open up your your phone and open up your note taking app because there's got a we, there's a lot here and you don't want you want to make sure you know exactly what we're getting into. So no, so we are going to give you the run on of you know the core products, the, the add ons, the stretch goals, all the fun stuff which is on here. Some of which was just still coming in as we speak with two weeks out. So all right, Harley, you ready to get into this? Let's, <laughs> let's do it, Mike. It's a laundry list. All right, so first and foremost is uh it's going to be tome of adventure number four the purple planet so uh some of you may be wondering what the heck happened to purple the tome of adventure two and tome of adventure three because we've only re released one tome of adventure so far and all i can say is stay tuned because we'll get into that in a minute but but harley tome of adventure number four purple planet what what can people what can people expect in this all right well so it's it's going to compile all of dcc 84 the original purple Bo planet box set um which um and then along with you know everything that was in the box set um you know the 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 you know the guide to the purple planet and all that um it's also going to include um 84.1 uh the rock awakens uh the synthetic 84.2 the synthetic swordsmen of the purple planet 84.3 sky masters of the purple planet um so all all the all the dccs that were released um sub subsequent to dcc 84 um will be collected in this in this massive bound volume which has been out of print now for 10 years we decided is that right <laughs> it feels like it you know yeah. <laughs> no. and but on but on top of that we're also for the first time ever the collected and the complete glossography of yacht which has been, you know, this has been the 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 the, the white whale of the DCC collecting community. So all uh, for one time, all of the pages of the collected glossography will be published together, and uh, and you know, we people will be able to read. Yeah, you know, there is. Do you recall offhand how many pages they consist of that? I mean, I, I know it's like seven or ten. Yeah, it's but, um, yeah, yeah. I, I I'm still waiting for them to like crack open a dumpster somewhere and 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 find the, the the missing pages that are you know were thrown out when you know whatever games went out of business right right yes yeah, so, some game store in like you know lawrence kansas ended up with like a whole bunch of box sets and they <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, but no it's sweet it's, yeah it'll be compiled for the first time so you know rick hole and everyone else that has been hunting for so long your 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 dreams will be answered they'll be compiled you know in 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 in, in the tome <laughs> I, I I don't know if we actually got into what exactly the complete what the glossography of 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 Yoth is like what oh. does, what does that contain so what, yeah. what kind of elevator pitch on that just so sure sure so um you know it's 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 uh, so the Yoth are are these are these trans dimensional um, pirates kind of Harley's ode to the Gith Yankee on on, on the cover of the AD and D fiend folio you know if you just took that. Russ Nicholson illustration and you lived really hard into that. And you're like, okay, if I didn't know anything about Gith Yankee, how cool could this be? And so, and so there's this, this um, legendary compendium that details all about the Yoth. And, and so it, it tells you about, you know, um, you know, their, their relics and their culture and, and, you know, and the, and the various people that, you know, that make up their ships and they're, and they're, and they're trans-dimensional. Right. And so when they, when they appear on the purple planet, 
you know, the, the holes that are ships, they, they force back all the, all the oxygen and air. So there's just this thunderous crack in the skies above. And the next thing you know, people are hurling harpoons down at your PCs and, and hauling, you know, that halfling follower that's been with you the last five levels, you know, up into the ship. And then they're going to vanish, you know, another thunderclap as, as the air comes rushing back in. And so there's these, you know, the yacht, you know, they're, they're, um, they 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 sail the you know the cosmos um and uh, in in search of the yathian you know mushrooms which is why they come to the purple planet but they also they also um deal with um you know in the center of Aerith, they they deal with the, the horrible creatures that live down in there and so they what you know the things that they take from the purple planet they then trade you know with um i can't remember which one that's uh, journey to the center of Aerith is but you know they 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 deal with the lost agartans down there and and it's it's yeah it, they they kind of stitch you know the harley dcc cosmos together a little bit right anyways yes. <laughs> all that information is compiled now for the first time all right <laughs> so so you have information for that uh so it's a, a extra bonus gaming material which you can use th theoretically in any dcc campaign not even those set on the purple planet because the, yes. the yacht can't go up anywhere yeah we have that, and then we have for we have the for the first time in English invasion of the Purple Planet, uh, which is which has come from our, our good friends over in Germany, System Matters. They publish published this in their magazine, so this is gonna be the first time it shows up here in English. And of course, that we've touched on before is your first return to the Purple Planet in a number of years, and that is Chessmen of the Purple Planet. So I'm so uh, excited to see that one released. Yeah, that, that's gonna be so much fun. So, so you're going to have all of these in the Tomo Adventure number four. So that, that's effectively, we've got, that's like five adventures, no, six adventures, and then, you know, additional game material. So, I mean, that, that there, that's the value. <laughs> so, so, and so that as, you know, as long as the campaign funds, you know, that you got that, you know, right off that, right off the bat. And I, trust me, I have, I have high hopes for this one. I don't think we'll have any problem funding this one. So, you know, so, uh, so you will be able to, to walk away with that, but on top of that, there's oh, there's bonus stuff that you can add on top of that. So these are the add-ons. We'll get to stretch goals in a minute, but these are the ones also which are guaranteed because we're going to make them and you just, you know, you're going to be a little extra money out of your pocket. We can't, we teased these on the Goodman Games uh, website this week and we talked about it on social media, but we there are, originally we were going to have a dice set. We were going to have a Purple Planet themed dice set, but then Impact Miniatures showed us the samples and oh, they were all cool. <laughs> they're so beautiful. They, are, they look really good. Like... <laughs> You and I own a lot of dice, Mike. Um, <laughs> but like, I, I'm already coveting, you know, the the new colors that Tom at Impact came up with. They look really good. And when this is over, I'm going to own more dice. Apparently, yes, you're right. <laughs> so so we, we've got some. We've got some. We've got four sets. We've got the Greenstone Shards. We've got the Rusted Death Hulk. Yep. We've got the Weirdling Sun Bleached Bones, and we have Beautiful. the Blood Kith Bone. Oh, oh yeah. Like those blood spattered dice. Oh my god! Like you, they make you want to run a game. You're like, okay, all right, I'm gonna break these out for the funnel. <laughs> right. um, Tim, Tim but, Anders knows what he's doing. You give oh him, give him, the, give him the guidelines, and he will deliver. So. It's so cool. But we should clarify: um, I, the images are probably still just the prototypes. They're, they're it's this the whole funky dice set, right? It's right. not just the the you know traditional seven. It's yeah, it's a the way that they do the samples. Um, you know, they can, they only do the samples with the seven dice, but once we kind of give them the approval, they do the the full fourteen set. So so these will be in you know in your standard DCC dice. They, they will be coming in the tube. They will have the uh, the insert with the art with the art on it, and we'll actually have game material. Harley's been writing a bunch of those. I wrote one of them, so you know, so you're you're getting some top notch material right right off the bat. <laughs> so. Super fun. Uh, you know, of course, all stuff that you can drop into your Purple Planet campaign, or you could, you know, rip off and use in your your DCC campaign. So, um, but we, I, I did some some feedback. People were like, why are there purple dice? <laughs> <laughs> and because that's what people would expect us to do. <laughs> easy. That's the easy answer. <laughs> surprise, weird dice and surprise. That's what we bring to the table. Goodman Games has not been around by 20 years by doing what the ex people expect from us. So, <laughs> <laughs> and next up, nunchucks. No, right, exactly. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So, um, what else? What else can they add on if they so choose, Mike? This is actually something I completely forgot about. But we did this for the original Purple Planet box set. We had the, the purple, oh, yeah. the Purple Planet Player's Guide, and uh, so the Purple Planet, the Purple Planet Player's Guide. <laughs> It's a good thing we didn't call it like the Purple Planet Players Pamphlet because that would 
<laughs> Lost opportunity. Yes. But so it is a um, it is a soft cover booklet, and this is obviously this is uh, directed for the players. And this is it contains it contains a purple planet theme blank character sheet. It can it contains a Kith theme, you know, customized character sheet. So if you're you end up playing one of the Kith characters, like we have the DCC character sheets, or, you know, one for a wizard, one for a warrior, and this is the one for the Kith. Um, it's got a blank map, blank hex map in there, so you can you know you know mark out because as we've gone into this, Purple Planet is all about hex exploration. So you know, so, so you, fun, so fun, yeah. yeah. Um, it has an awesome uh, re black and white uh, reproduction of Doug's art about the the mushroom jungle. Mm -hmm. so, and there's space to take notes. So, like, if you eat that plant, you know, if, right. if he does yes. that, hey, there's these plants, these, these these fungus, and you eat this one, and like it kills you. You know, the survivors can put a note: do not eat. <laughs> right. Do not eat. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it's kind of like a naturalistic work in you know in the in 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 head because there's also uh there's also the kind of the bestiary session which are just like illustrations of the yeah. the weird animals and wildlife and stuff that you you know can encounter on the planet yeah. where you do the same thing <laughs> and it has the activation runes too right for for when you encounter relics and so that is correct. So the the artifacts that you find on the Purple Planet, like we Harley was smart, we didn't do the flow chart from Gamma World, you know. For, for <laughs> I was tempted. <laughs> so it's it's actually a little bit like the old game Simon, you know. So right. there's like a number of different things. You have if you press the the correct pattern, you get the artifact to to activate. So this this has this has all the different glyphs on there, so you can record. Okay, what uh, what activates you know what activates like you know the 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 weird ray gun we found and you know, yeah. So, yeah. Again, keep track of stuff. Um, so yeah, so it's gonna be uh, so so yeah, so that's that's the Purple Planet uh, Player's Guide. Uh, so it's, I think it's like sixteen pages or something like that. You have a lot of good <laughs> yeah. stuff. Spaces for notes, you know, all yeah. all parts of that. Yeah. And uh, and something which you know which has been in the works, um, which I kind of half knew about, but I didn't know completely about it. The Seventh Doom of Delisle Croom. <laughs> the Seventh Doom. Of oh my God, Mike, I'm so stoked. And so. So there's there's things we get to write which um which are fun and there's there's things we get to write which are just fun and and and, it, and it's it's a testament to Goodman Games that that um you guys are making it possible for for Doug and I to to go after this thing um so the seventh Doom Quest of Delisle Croom it's it's going to be full color um landscape layout and so you have you have these beautiful illustrations by Doug um. Accompanied, you know, with with writing and game text by me, and so what what it is, it's really quickly, uh, it's, you know, as 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 a young man, as a young wizard, Delisle Croom, had had this vision of 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 this withered ancient spellcaster, you know, spell burned down, mutated pox on his face, and he knew he knew in his heart that um in 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 his soul that 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 this that, that, this, that this specter of death was was going to be the end of of Delisle Croom so he's he's going on this doom quest to attempt to avert you know the uh, this you know his his death at the hands of this horrible wizard like thing um and his his quest takes him to Punjar and so we have some beautiful spreads of Doug illustrating very specific things in Punjar and then what the view would be and then Delisle Croom finds himself cast to the purple planet in in the in the quest to you know to to find you know this guy who represents his doom so it's 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 um but you know but every wizard you know has to be an artist right you know because so delisle croom is recording everything as as he sees it and encounters it and so we have this we have this manuscript of delivered by delisle croom you know showing you know, illustrations of Kith, you know, what is, what is a Kith tattooed arm look like? You know, what is, what is, what is, um, you know, what are their war banners composed of? And at the same time, we have, we have the text accompanying that. Um, and, and it's just such a fun project. I'm, I'm so grateful that, that to get to work with Doug on it. And it's just going to be a really cool book. It sounds awesome. And I have to, I have to ask the question, is this, is this designed as like an in-game artifact? In that it means is the is the text written like in character? So yes. No, there's no game stats or anything like that. This is more well, yes to both. So there there are there are game stats for what's being described, but there is also the in game artifact of Delisle's you know actual journal as 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 he's okay you know, exploring the the purple planet. Okay, because you you could go either way, you know, you're yeah. still awesome, you know. So uh, um, it's so much fun. It's so much fun, and, and just just to get to work intimately with Doug as as we as we write these things up, and you know, he, you've done it before. You like you bounce ideas off him. He comes up with cool stuff, which you would then write too. But seventh Doom Quest of Delisle Crew. I'm so excited. <laughs>
So, so that, so the, those are going to be the add-ons that you can, you know, you, you know, uh, regardless of of how things go and the short, with, with stretch goals and everything like that. So these will be available to you to add on to your order. Uh, but speaking of stretch goals, um, there, you know, there will be. I don't quite know what the tiers are going to be, what you know, where things hit and everything. But we've got a number of things planned. And uh, Harley, 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 unfortunately for me, unfortunately for him, has to do most of the writing of these. <laughs> but uh, so, so Harley, what what are some of the stretch goals that you you don't have to go into details in this? Yeah, point. but it was it was such a huge gift, Mike. I really appreciate because you could have you could have looked at it. You'd be like, okay, I know Harley is going to be. Like we need to hit this deadline and Harley's notorious for deadlines. And yet I have this editor who is willing to stand behind me. And I miss still remember the email. You're like, okay, I'm pinning it in with a great deal of fear, but January, you know, 21st. It's like, ah, so thank you, Mike. Um, but it, you know, the cool thing about writing these up is you fall in love with him as, as you write them. So, you know, so I needed to come up with a new one. So we have the, we have the Lake of death, which is, you know, anathema to life. Nothing lives there. It's pretty much just like a dead zone on, on the purple planet, you know, except when the barometric pressure changes and the, the, you know, necrotic gas, you know, washes out of the Lake of death. But now we, now we have at least one monster that lives there, the Imore. And I fell in love with that guy when I was writing him, you know, cause he's, he's been here since time immemorial. He was once worshiped as the avatar of, a, of, 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 you know, of, of a deity, you know, back when purple planet was still in its infancy and this poor thing is still alive. Right. And so it has, it has all this knowledge and it hunkers down in the Lake of death. And, and maybe if you can, you know, if you can entertain or find some way to you know to role play with it you can um you know you can extract some information from the mra but otherwise it's you know it's this horrible ancient creature which is just you know you can't be trivial you can't be you know you know bothered to to deal with pcs that are asking its dumb questions and so it anyway so so there's 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 the mra there's um uh, you know there's this idea that there's a, a a city on the purple planet that skips in between centuries, douche, douche, douche. and so um, you know the 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 ascended master that was preserving that city eons ago made it so that city just lives for like one day every hundred years, and so that city has aged much more slowly and descended into you know barbarism much more slowly than the rest of the purple planet. But you only see it you know you know one day out of every hundred years. Unfortunately, our PCs are going to you know be there for that, but um. And so, but that, that required a spell, right? So I had the opportunity to write up, you know, the spell that would make that possible. And, um, and so, the, you know, so that in game, like, yes, if, if a PCs were attempting to, to do something along the same lines, they could cast that spell and, and, um, you know, and preserve themselves or, or some bit, you know, that would just skip through time. Ah, uh, there's the, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, and Mike, I don't, have you, have you read it at all yet? I, I am I am I am I'm up to my eyeballs in Dungeon Dennis. Okay, right. I'm so sorry, but um, I I I we I wrote you a, a bottle city for um for the Purple Planet, and so um a, not, a, a different ascended master attempting to preserve this city that that you know that that he loved, like but that doesn't make him good. There's he's still a horrible dude. Um, he shrank the city and 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 placed it within this orb and so that that city is 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 also too you know preserved in time and so i i wrote you a tomb um in which the pcs could accidentally you know pass through this relic and find themselves shrunken inside this bottle city you know akin to like you know the, the superman conceit mm -hmm. right um where 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 but it's but it's it's also I, I did a bunch of research what are those like those closed terrarium things you know uh, what i'm talking about yeah. where like the plant's been growing for the last 75 years even though it's corked and mm -hmm. so the same thing happens here right like no energy you know can go in or out so something important has to happen when a if a pc dies or, or if they kill somebody inside this inside this closed system um which is dealt with us in this in this tomb which you're like all right harley this needs to be no more than you know 1500 words we went a little bit over but um it's, <laughs> it's, it's such a cool concept um so yes and, and 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 that and more so thank you for the opportunity to write those stretch goals it was really such a gift mike and i had I, i'm glad you could fit in your schedule to do because you know who, who better to write purple planet stuff than yeah. you right? it was yeah. so much fun it was so much fun so we have so we have that stuff from Harley. We've got a couple other things which are Harley didn't have to work on, luckily. So like so one of the things we haven't, you know, as as we've talked about this show, you know, the plant landscape as character, and there's a big hex crawl. So, you know, so we we want to do an oversized uh play, like a blank oversized uh hex map That's you so actually cool. put down on the table, and you know, the players can kind of mark their tra mark their 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 travels and stuff. 
and so cool. uh, and we want to also have some sort of way to so they can put stuff together. So we're not sure if those are going to be stickers or tokens or whatever like that. But you know, you can actually put those onto the map and say, all right, well, this is where we found that oasis, and over here is that cave system where we can you know hide from the kith or something like that. So you know, so you you know, and since it changes from campaign to campaign, you know, it's kind of you're you know, it's almost like playing one of those legacy board games, you know. Right. Where after after you do something, you like you know you have to tear up a card or something because that you know they, you are building the world as you go. So yeah. uh, so we'll have that, and then uh, we're gonna have a judges screen which actually has the uh, the purple planet map <gasps> so on the inside awesome. of it's all keyed, so they can just look up and like okay, I know exactly where you guys are. And, you know. Like like you've been pitching this uh, this like is is it the giant like record screen because you've been like you've <laughs> wanted that for years now. I mean, I, I suggested that we put that on there. Whether Joe and like if it might show up, I don't know. I don't know for certain, but you know, it's it's one of those. If enough people request it during the course of the you know of the campaign, possibly it's always like just out of reach. We're always just like five backers shy of getting Mike's massive screen. <laughs> it is, you know. We, we'll talk about that during the grand retreat. So. <laughs> 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 yeah. So, uh, so you know, so they, you know, uh, so that kind of was in the plan. There's still some rumbling about stuff, and of course, if we blow, th we blow through all the stretch goals, we'll come up with new ones. So, you know, so, uh, but yeah, I mean, we've got room to grow. So, and so, so, oh, but wait, there's but a wait. <laughs> And I'm not even getting into some of the non-purple planet stuff because the purple planet con con continues because one of the reasons we went with backer kit is backer kit allows you to do like a band like you know kind of a like a big tent and invite a whole bunch of other people into your tent so uh if if anybody out there was familiar with what they do with pintopia uh which is kind of our, our our kind of our model for this we actually have seven third-party publishers who are joining the purple planet horde and they are all going to be releasing a backer kit uh crowdfunding campaign kind of as part of this uh they each one is a separate campaign but if you back more than one it is reflected on there's bonus stuff to get. So, you know, so like right now, if you, you know, so you can, you have the option of backing one or some or all of them. And, uh, you know, and if all of them fun, people will get something. And if you back yeah. like, you know, like a couple of them, you know, you might get an extra die to, if you back like all of them, you get 3d6, so you can roll up your, your purple planet character. But, um, but right now I do know we have involved in that we have studio nine games. Yep. They're doing 101 Hex Encounters, an adventure called Die Robot, and that that is a zero level adventure. Um, we've got uh, we've got Random Acts of Violet, which is a great name, and that's by <laughs> TSRG High Dive Games, and that that's a level one adventure. We have Oh Happy Dagger by Gaming Honors. Uh, some of you may know Gaming Honors. Uh, they have they they're doing a level two adventure. We have River of Lies by Horse Shark Games. Nice, yeah, that's a level three adventure. We have memories of the purple planet by I'm gonna I'm gonna murderize this, but Raorgen Games R A O R G E N, and that's a level four adventure. And also, I don't I didn't have the names for the adventure off the top of my head, but uh, Purple Planet is I mean sorry Purple, purple Sorcerer yeah. is doing something. So how appropriate? And uh, Roll Funky Dice is also doing something. So there's gonna be seven seven all seven crowdfunding backer kit campaigns going on with all this. So yeah, so I mean this is. You know, I we've been saying if you got money over the holidays, don't spend it because because <laughs> <laughs> there's gonna be plenty of opportunities to do this. Um, so yeah, so uh, so yeah, so it's uh, so and each one of them is going to be you know doing their own stuff. Uh, we're we're doing kind of the theme over it is the rune is runes of the ancients. Mm -hmm. So you know, so everybody's kind of riffing on that concept. So there might be new you know new relics or you know the mysteries behind it or you know different interpretations of the runes or whatever. So it's, yeah, it's gonna be awesome. So um, right now, there's uh, nothing has been nothing has been you know as far as I know that has been finalized. But there is discussion of to trying to get this you know kind of like get fulfillment like all under you know one one house. So like you know you might be able to back all of these. You just get one big shipment of it. But that, yeah. which would keep the that. costs down, right? I mean, yeah, like, right. It, it's it's cool. Like everyone's trying to work together to make this as cost effective for the for us the 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 audience as possible. Yeah, not not guaranteed. It may may right. or may not happen, but it's something we are looking into. So yeah. hopefully we'll get all the stars to align and everything. And you know, you can back everything and just get a shipping crate, which just shows up in your house. <laughs> <laughs> we, I know, I know, we're running long, but can we take just a moment and and recognize how cool it is that um, Goodman Games is working with the third party publishers to, like to make this happen. You know, you just just the like I don't know, like I can't think of any other 
uh, you know, publisher, game publisher, there's like reaches out to competitors to be like, all right, let's all get in this together and make it as rad as possible. Yeah, I mean, we, you know, we were lucky enough that we now we have our own warehouse, we have our kind of our old distribution network and everything, so we can do that, you know. So, uh, so you know, this is you know, you know, uh, rising tide lifts all ships, right? So, you know, <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, uh no, um, but, but yeah, I mean, we know it feels like every week we announce we're now distributing another thing, you know, another game out there, which may or may not be DCC related. Like, you know, you know. <laughs> I, I can't wait to see the Gen Con booth this year. It's going to just be like massive. We don't, yeah, you can stop publishing. Relax, Mike. We're just, we're just going to host all the third party stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Take a break. Yeah, good. Like I won't have to be anywhere near the booth <laughs> this year. You know, we've got, we've got everybody shilling their own stuff, and I can sit back in my skybox again or wherever they're going <laughs> to. Even 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 just on today on Facebook, there was a a, a French publisher who reached out. He's like, "Oh wow, how do I get involved in this? I want to release some Purple Planet stuff." And they're like, "Email Joseph." So you know, it was cool. Yeah, I mean, because unlike the Dying Earth or Lankmar or everything, this is right. Purple Planet is owned by Goodman Games, so you know we don't have to worry about jumping through you know licensing hoops or anything like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. You know, Shutter Mountain is the same thing. There's a you know there's new Shutter Mountain theme you know Kickstarter up going. I'm and that trust me, that's that's the stuff I'm, I'm glad to see. All right, but before we run out of time. <laughs> But wait, there's more. So <laughs> more. I, How's that even possible? That has been all the Purple Planet theme stuff. <laughs> there's a couple other things which are going to be going on. So um, these are going to be, uh, uh, some of you may have seen these. There are going to be two, count them, two limited edition DCC rulebook uh, oh. with edition covers. Which are this going is to be like available. the Demon Foil, right? What's that? Like the demon foil cover, right? Yes. Yep. There's, <laughs> there's the the gold demon skull foil, and that is going to be that's printed on faux dra faux demon hide. So it's so going to be cool. like a textured cover and everything. It looks like it was flayed off of you know bubonics herself, or you know. So uh, so you, you've got that, and then of course everybody's old school, everybody's favorite old school artist, Errol Otis, is also doing a limited edition cover for a full color. So yeah. So those are going to be those are going to be available as well. Um. Then on top of that, there's going to be. Remember at the start of the half hour when I mentioned Tomovich? <laughs> well, here we are. We're back to it. Tomovich Full circle. Two, which is collects the DCC uh, RPG adventures, DCC number 73 to 72. I'm sorry, no, sorry, 73 to 79. I think there might be a 0.5 in there too. There, there's something like, you know, it's like, you know, one of them under there. Um, and then there's also going to be Tomovich number three, which is the Lankmar collection. And that, that is going to have Mask of Lankmar, which was our, the, the first nice. Lankmar adventure we released before we even had a numbering system for him. And then we have a, uh, DCC Lankmar number one through number seven. And and then because we uh, we didn't fe we didn't feature all the patrons from patrons of, La of of Lankmar in the box set, we're going to pull the ones we didn't put in there, and we're going to stick them in that. So you get like the 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 Sea King and uh, oh, nice. like the Rat God, and you've got I think one or two other ones or everything. So. So this is, you know, so that's that. And around this time is also, in case you haven't heard, we're going to be crowdfunding to get DCC up on a roll 20. So I, yeah. I'm not sure if we're rolling that directly into this or this is going to be going on or whatever. Like, so if you're interested in virtual tabletops, so use roll 20, that so this is going to be going on kind of, you know, at the same time. So that's a huge amount of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so. Which is obviously why we spent the last couple of months uh, just, you know, kind of getting everybody psyched up for this and letting you know kind of what the Purple Planet is and what's going to be out there. So, um, so, so when does it drop? It drops in two weeks today. So yeah. Today we will be uh, we will be launching this, I believe, around noon Eastern time. Okay. Um, but uh, but I do not know because I will not be on Eastern time in two weeks. In two weeks from now, Harley and I both. We'll be in California for the Goodman Games Creative Retreat, and uh, we will actually be launching this kind of live from the meeting of the managerial minds, uh, which is going on, uh, you know, the day after the, the days after the retreat. So we'll probably be in a, a rented office space somewhere, uh, you know, we'll be like like a WeWork that we broke into when they shut those all down or something, and uh, and we'll be streaming those live from you know kind of a a, a boring looking office, but we will be we'll be launching and kicking that off. So. Um, is there are there still plans for like uh, people that back within the 40, first 48 hours to Yes, there is and there will be a 48 hour special thing designed by Mr. Harley Stroh. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I'll be riding feverishly during the retreat. No, but this this is awesome. And, well, you've and, got time on the flight. <laughs> there you go. But uh, you know, Mike, thank you for being such an ardent advocate of the Purple Planet. You know, back from you know being willing to you know commission Chessman on the Purple Planet. You know, when I was like, no, Mike, we need more. And you're like, well, I'm not sure. We we're phasing out skinny modules. Sorry, Harley. So thank you and. <laughs> And, yeah, yeah, and all these shows. So thank you. It, it it was about time, you know. I mean, we 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 reprinted the chain coffin. You know, we did this. We gave you the chain coffin treat, and always, I have to go first, and then we learn all the hard lessons of it, and then a hard. <laughs> 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 there was there was not as much cool stuff on the on the the, the chain coffin reprint as there was on this campaign. But well, I, you know, it, it, it's it's all about marching order, Mike. You know this, like you know, we're gonna. <laughs> we're send you first. I always, I, I'm only half hitting. I said I'm the, I'm the good McGee test pilot. <laughs> Check the ball out of the sky. Harley can go up on the next one, right? <laughs> <laughs> even, even if I fall into the pit, it'll be softer because Mike's gone before me. Back. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, thank you. Sincerely. All right. Well, that's that's it. That's it for Return to the Purple Planet. The next time you see Harley and I, it will be the Purple Planet will be live uh, in a mere two weeks. So, Harley. Thank you for for coming with me on this journey. I couldn't think of anybody else better to be equipped with uh, to talk Purple Planet than you. <laughs> thank you, Mike. I appreciate it. All right, we'll see you on Backer Kit. Yep. So thank you everybody for tuning in, and uh, and don't forget to uh, to do all that stuff you're supposed to do with Twitch shows, like you know watch, like, and do all the rest of that stuff. But <laughs> we won't be back in this format, as far as we know, until unless maybe we return to the journey out to the center of Aerith, maybe in the future. Go. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> All right, we're out of here, people. Take care. Good night. <laughs>